What's up, future respiratory therapists? In this video, we're gonna talk about some basic mechanical ventilation settings. Let's dive in. All right, so as I said, basic settings for mechanical ventilation. Before that, check out the Respiratory Coach Academy where you will find the TMC and the CSE boot camps there to aid and assist you in passing those credentialing exams on the first attempt. If you check that out, I would greatly appreciate it. Now let's talk about settings. Now, I know this is a weird looking image or a weird looking slide, but I put it up here because I want you to realize something. I remember we're talking basic settings and there are a ton of settings when it comes to mechanical ventilation. Your job is to know what those settings are and what they are doing for your patients. Also, what are those settings telling you? Okay, so I wanna show you that while there are a lot of them, we're just gonna focus on six today. Now, you see where four of these are labeled. And that's what I really want you to get to, to understand is that, yes, there's a lot of settings. What, what, what if it's volume control? What if it's pressure control? Well, they're gonna have different settings, but not all of them are gonna be different. Th these four right here that you're looking at that you can see right now, those are standard settings on every basic mode of mechanical ventilation. Let's talk through them respiratory rate you might also see this as frequency and all this means is is how many breaths is the ventilator going to deliver per minute that's all we're talking about you're going to tell the ventilator what to do on inspiration and then the respiratory rate is what's going to tell it how often to do it so if you set it on 10 breaths per minute then the vent's going to deliver 10 breaths per minute it's also going to do that equally. There's 60 seconds in a minute. So if you tell it to deliver 10 breaths per minute, it's going to deliver a breath every six seconds. If you have it set on 20 breaths per minute, then it's going to deliver a breath every three seconds. It's going to spread those breaths out equally over 60 seconds. Okay. Now the next one you see here is sensitivity. Sensitivity, a standard standard setting that comes with just every mode that I can think of. Sensitivity is related to how the patient will initiate a breath. See, the ventilator has to be able to recognize that the patient is taking a breath. If this is incorrectly set, then the vent may give a breath inadvertently and may think the patient's asking for a breath, but they're not really, or the opposite of that may be true also, where the patient is trying to take a breath, but the vent's not recognizing it because this setting is set in correctly. So sensitivity is the ventilator's way of detecting patient efforts. Every vent mode has a sensitivity setting, at least that I can think of off the top of my head. Now this next one over here is FiO2. This is fraction of inspired oxygen. This is how much oxygen are you putting the patient on? Remember room air is 0.21. If you wanna put the patient on 40% oxygen, then you would set it to 0 0.40. Remember FiO2 is always expressed in a decimal. If you're expressing it in a percentage and you're just talking about percentage of it, of, of oxygen, which is fine. But when you see FiO2, don't be shocked if you're seeing 0 0.50, 0 0.65. If you want to you know, increase the FiO2 to 65%, then don't be shocked if you see 0.65, that's gonna be how much oxygen you're delivering to the patient with each breath. Also, if you wanna hyperoxygenate your patient, prior to suctioning or prior to extubation, then you can increase the FiO2 to do that. And yes, there's a button on the vent that you can press that will just increase the FiO2 automatically for you, but this will do the same thing because it is the same thing. It's the amount of oxygen being delivered to the patient, okay? Now, this one up here you see is PEEP, positive end expiratory pressure. This is uh, basically when you raise the baseline for which breathing is happening on above atmospheric pressure, 
Um, I read this in a previous video talking about PEEP and CPAP. We talked about the definition of PEEP. And if I can find it again for you here real quick, I will read it again uh, without taking too much of your time. Here we go. Positive end expiratory pressure. The application and maintenance of pressure above atmospheric at the airway throughout the expiratory phase of positive pressure mechanical ventilation. Remember, PEEP serves the purpose of, of promoting alveolar recruitment, increasing FRC, and improving oxygenation. So um, you're going to see PEEP in a lot of your basic modes of mechanical ventilation. Now, when you get into advanced modes, uh, you may see PEEP expressed slightly differently, but it's there in most modes. Now, that leaves these two. And the reason I did it like this is I want you to realize that all of these four, they, they apply to, to all basic modes of mechanical ventilation. These two will switch depending on which mode you are in. So let me show you what I'm talking about. You see, if I was to ask you right now, what mode are you in? You would say, well, let me see here. Let me look at my settings because I see peep. FiO2 sensitivity and respiratory rate, that doesn't help me. But when I come up here, I see where I have a tidal volume setting and a flow setting. Now, that just told me what mode I'm in. I am in volume control. And you say, well, how do you know that? Because I have a setting that allows me to control the volume. And that's exactly what this mode will look like. Okay, so tidal volume is the size of each breath. So if you set it on 450 milliliters, then the ventilator says, okay, I'm going to deliver a tidal volume of 450 milliliters. And you say, okay, but how often is it going to deliver that 450 milliliters? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's going to bring us back to respiratory rate. 10 breaths per minute, the ventilator will say, okay, 10 times a minute, I'm going to deliver a tidal volume of 450 milliliters. So then you say, okay, so then what's flow? Flow is how fast that breath is delivered. Now, don't confuse that with how often it is delivered with the respiratory rate. Respiratory rate is how often is the breath delivered. Tidal volume is how much are we delivering. Flow is how fast are we delivering that volume? Together, flow and tidal volume will yield an I time. So sometimes, you may be watching this going, I don't think we have a flow. I think we, I think we set tidal volume and I time, and that's fine. Regardless, either way, these two right here are going to yield your I time. So if you're saying, well, I set a volume and an I time, then guess what? When you set that I time, you're telling it how fast to deliver the volume you're controlling flow. So you have to realize that these three all play the game together, okay? So um, how fast to deliver that volume and respiratory rate determines how often. That's for volume control. Now, let's look at the next one. You see, now we see the same four settings, PEEP, FIO2, sensitivity, respiratory rate. But now we've got this new setting here. Instead of saying tidal volume, it says inspiratory pressure. And instead of saying flow, it says inspiratory time. You see, these two settings right here now tell me as the clinician that we are in pressure control. I know that because I'm setting pressure. And because I'm... A, a registered respiratory therapist, I know that pressure control is time cycled. The word cycle means to end inspiration. So the ventilator is going to increase the pressure and then hold it for the set I time. It'll look something like this. Increase the pressure to what? The set inspiratory pressure. So we're going to raise the 20 and then we're going to hold it and then we're going to exhale. This that right there is your I time. It's your inspiratory time. And then once again, you say, okay, well, how often is that going to happen? Brings us back to respiratory rate. Okay. So this is pressure control. All the same four settings, standard settings to change. 
What are we doing for how long? That's the difference. That's the only difference. So now look at this screen again. And now you see, oh, I get it now. These are always there. These two are going to be specific to what mode of mechanical ventilation I'm in, such as am I in volume control or, I am in, or am I in pressure control? Okay, now remember, the title of this is basic. So we're talking basic modes. We're not talking PRVC, we're not talking APRV. Basic modes brings us back to volume control versus pressure control. If this says tidal volume, then you know you're in volume and you're gonna control how fast you're gonna deliver that volume. If this says inspiratory pressure, then you know you're in pressure control and this is gonna tell you, this setting is gonna be eye time, which controls how long that set pressure is held. Those are your key, core, six basic settings that you will see in mechanical ventilation. It's very important to grasp these key settings because when you start to learn advanced modes of mechanical ventilation, you will see these settings alter slightly. You will see where you may see, you may not see all these, you may see something a little different. But without this foundation, then the advanced modes will never make sense. Remember, foundation first, everything else follows. These are your foundational settings for volume control and pressure control. All right, I appreciate you watching. I'm Respiratory Coach, do me a favor, check me out on all the socials. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. Don't forget about the TMC and the CSE boot camps. They're parked right over there at respiratorycoach.com. And don't forget about the shift premiering October 19th. It's so close. Uh, check out the official trailer, it's right here. Remember, average is easy, don't be it.